I'm Deep Mahaman and you're watching The Redman TV. Hello, welcome to Red Men TV. Liverpool have just beaten Stoke City in the first leg of the League Cup semi-final. Can't remember what the League Cup is sponsored by at the minute, so we're just going to go with League Cup and just continue to talk. Fantastic performance by the Mighty Reds. I think there was a lot of apprehension going into this game, and like I was talking to a lot of people on Twitter beforehand, and perfectly understandable, Liverpool's form has been... At best, scintillating, at worst, just the fucking worst. Um, and nobody really knew what was gonna what was gonna happen when we turned up today. It looked like a game we'd struggling because in, in in recent weeks, it's not worked for Liverpool. You know, we you know we keep harping back to the to the Man City performance, to the Chelsea performance, and we've seen what this team can do when the right sort of situation presents itself. But was this that Liverpool going to turn up? Because if that <laughs> We we kind of we want to see more of that Liverpool, and it's not it's just not been evident enough since those games. We've seen little flashes of it here and there, but by and large, you know, particularly recently, we've been diabolical. So I can understand the nerves and what have you going into this game. I didn't share them because I read Paul Tompkins' absolutely sensational article on there, the Tompkins Times. I was I was banging this drum before the game I, at half time, and I'm going to bang it now that the game's finished. Go on to Tompkins Times and read it. Go and get yourself a cup of tea. Sit down. Give yourself a little bit of time because it's a big one. And he talks about like the, the the problems that Jürgen Klopp's facing at the moment and how ultimately he will overcome them given time. And we shouldn't necessarily expect things to be amazing right here and right now, but things will get better. So we just need to enjoy the ride to the best of our ability. And you know, it put me in an amazing frame of mind. And you know, and uh, you know, it doesn't have an impact on the players on the pitch, but I certainly enjoyed watching the game loads more. And that was aided by, of course, the performance of the players out there who put in a, just a terrific shift. You know, I did this. I did a little bit of a video at half time. Um, live and said the first 15 minutes of this game we were out of this world we were just brilliant we were first to everything we were first to every first ball we were first to every second ball we got in the face they just couldn't string two passes together and you know they we did to Stoke what a lot of teams who've got joy against us recently have done to us and we just got in the faces and you know the, the front three of Firmino, Coutinho, Lallana look great. You know, Coutinho was driving into the box, which is exactly what we've been saying for weeks. And we did the video on how he, you know, how he regains his form. That's what we want to see from Coutinho. And then, you know what? We faced the setback. He goes down with the hamstring injury. Yeah, you know the the, the hamstring curse that we're faced with at the moment. And again, because I, I was doing the social, uh, the, doing the Twitter and the social media tonight, um, and yeah, everyone goes into meltdown. But you know, we had Jordan Ibe on the bench and we've got players like that on the bench for a reason. This has happened last week. We'd, I think we'd have been fucked. But we've just about got enough players in reserve to get us through this game. Just about because we were basically the walking wound that come the end. But, you know, I've come on, said he'd get a goal. He got a goal. I'm not going to not gonna sit here and big myself up. Um, I'll let all the people who saw it on Twitter do that for me. Um, but, you know, great to see him get the goal. Joe Allen defo meant the pass. I'm not having anything other than that. He absolutely meant the pass too. It was fantastic. Joe Allen's best performance in a Liverpool shirt, arguably, or at least his best performance for 12 months. I've seen good performances like that from him, but that was that was excellent. And it was telling how many people were like shocked and upset when he got substituted off. Fantastic. You can't. I don't think you can get much higher praise than that. When the, a lot of the people who basically call him a cunt uh, on Twitter start going, "Oh my God, no! Don't take him off! Don't take off the Welsh." The Welsh Palo. Um <laughs> but no, he was great. And to be fair, I think across the board, I thought everyone was great. There were, I think, there were levels of greatness. Everyone was great, but some were, were more great than others. And in particular, you know, Joe Allen started to Emery Chan had an outstanding game. Looks better playing further forward in the midfield. I mean, obviously, he had to do a bit more of a defensive job once we then lost Lovren to the hamstring injury. Um, and Lucas, I thought Lucas was did an outstanding job at centre half alongside the absolutely imperious Colo Torre, who also picked up a hamstring injury. Way the trifecta. Um, the fact that we battled through tells you that we'll probably still go. We're look, we're still going to see shit results between now and the end of the season. It's not there. The, the players, are, I don't, I don't think we're possessing of the players to be able to deliver this on a weekly. A week in, week out, twice a week basis. I think that we'll, players will need to go, and better players in, in in various ways will need to come in. That's going to happen. It's a new manager, but it's just I, I just love seeing Liverpool players go out there and, and give their all and fight and try and die for the shirt. And I, I, I'm so pleased with tonight's performance. Genuinely, I, I getting a little bit emotional. <laughs> 
<laughs> sat here literally in this place on my own. That'll be a bit weird. Good old man in a big building on his own, crying to a camera. Basically, it just couldn't get more YouTube than that. Uh, but no, I look, I'm delighted. I'm so happy with the boys' performance. Put us in a great position for the second leg uh, at the end of the month. And yeah, Exeter's going to be an issue. We're, we're, we're severely lacking bodies at the minute. But you know what? Fuck it. Let the manager worry about that. I'm not going to worry about that. Why should I worry about that? Why should you worry about that? Let's let's just see what happens. Because people thought we couldn't do it. When Coutinho went off, they said we were fucked. When Lovren went off, people said we were fucked. And then Cole out got injured and, and played on. People thought we were fucked. And you know what? We, we, we ground out that result. With Colo Torre and Lucas Leiva at centre-half against Stoke, playing Stoke Pulisian era football of lumping it into the box. Mignolet dominated his box. But look, everyone was great. If you don't believe me, and if you don't, if you don't go watch the game again. And if you, don't, if you don't agree with me, let me know in the comments below. But if you don't agree, and you're dead angry for whatever reason, cheer the fuck up. Cheer the fuck up. Smile. It's only the first leg. You know, it's still 90 minutes of football to go. We're not in the final, and no one should be drinking like we are in the final. It's going to be an amazing game in Anfield that second leg. I can't wait for it. Hopefully, I'll be there. Hopefully, my missus won't have dropped, and I won't be allowed, and I won't be allowed to go to that one. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'm looking forward to it. And I think we should, we should enjoy these moments. There are going to be, there are going to be missteps along the way. We're going to lose games. We're going to drop points, and and things aren't going to go all our way between now and the end of the season. So you've got to enjoy it when we are good, and the players do perform to the level that we expect and beyond amazing anyway give this video a thumbs up i'll be reading through, th through some of your twitter comments um on another video that'll be on the youtube channel chris at the britannia he'll be doing videos from in and around the ground check those out as well thank you very much we'll be doing a final word show tomorrow on the redmentv.com that's going to be boss we've got i believe we've got jim borden and my dad in doesn't get any better what a dream team check it out on the redmentv.com it's completely free for a month it'll be a good laugh you'll enjoy it trust me Mate, uh, at Hick, Higgs Ollie, hamstringer pool. <laughs> Bar the injuries, a great performance and results. Couldn't agree more with that, mate. You know, 